This segment of the show... Could Rocky be far behind? <laughs> this segment of the show, I know what you're saying, is this quite possibly brought to you by Monocles Galore at the corner of Doheny and Sunset, where if one of the gelatinous orbs in your eyes doesn't transmit the proper electrical messages to your prefrontal lobes, we got something for that. No! It's brought to you by our good friends from the Pacific Rim, the Brothers Quack. Greetings, honorable customer. This week... Quack Brothers is Quack Brothers. Hanging by their cute little necks in our steamy windows, Quack Brothers invites you to be a lucky duck by eating an unlucky duck. Duck you, Tom Bergeron. Get one from the pond. Quack, I mean Quack Brothers, your choice for amphibious things that fly. Thank you, Quack Brothers. <laughs> Sometimes I like to go to the old standards. <laughs> you know me. you got to play the hits sometimes. I haven't heard Tony Franciosa in Face in the Crowd in a while. I've, I've got that news that'll move you and shake you. I'm president of Lonesome Roads Enterprises. I own 51% of the voting stock. <laughs> You're in bed with me, Larry. In bed. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not even the best Tony Franciosa moment in the movie. He follows Andy Griffith, lonesome around, and he does this Drew Bundini. Remember the cat who used to follow Ali around uh, in, and say uh, to Muhammad Ali, men love you, women love you, babies love you. He does a thing like that with jazz bebop beats. He's got one of those straw hats of, of the year, and Tony Franciosa just walks around, and when uh, Lonesome Road starts percolating in the movie, getting ideas to shoot him at these old right-wingers, he's behind him going, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely genius performance. All right.